What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of Katakuri from One Piece. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the balance and symmetry of our drawing. We're going to start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. Let's start from the very top. And we're just going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now in the middle, let's draw another line going across from left to right. Now I want to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. So from that center point, let's move all the way up towards the top of our circle and just mark that off. Now I want to measure that same distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. Now to create our circle, all we need to do is connect the center point of each mark with a curve. So we'll start with the top left. And we just want to rough this in. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. We can always go back and just smooth this out. Let's go to the side of our circle and add another guideline coming straight down. Now I want to place the eye line just underneath that center line. So we're going to step down, sketch a line going all the way across from left to right. And then we'll create a gap in between the eyes. From the center line, move over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of our circle. Now you want to take that same distance from the center over towards the right and do the same thing. Now you want to add some shape to the brow. From these two points, we're going to bend this in and then up on either side. Go back down to the bottom, curve this out and then up. Angle this down and out towards the side of our circle. Now from that same point, we're going to step out, just going to angle the eye coming down and then in. Go all the way towards the outside of the eye, bend this down, and then in towards the inside corner of the eye. Now in the center of the eye, we're going to draw a half circle for the iris. We're going to come down and up on both sides. Let's go back to the inside of the brow, angle this down and in towards the side of the nose. And we'll draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom of our circle. Now we're going to line up the top of the ears with the top point of the brow. So we step out towards the side of our circle, draw a straight line going out, come down the side, and then we'll angle this down and then in. Now we're going to layer that large fur collar on top of the face. From the bottom of the nose, let's step down. I'm just going to bend this out and go up towards that eye line, just on the outside of the ear. Do the same thing on the right, going out and then up. Now from the eye line, we can draw a straight angle line coming down and then in. And this will be for the stitches. Now we're gonna wrap that fur around the side of the head. So from that center line, let's step up and draw an oval. We're gonna go all the way around the left side, come down and in towards the middle. Now along the top of our circle, we're going to step down, draw the edge of the hairline with a straight line going across. And then from the side, we're going to step in, angle this down and out on top of the ears. Now we want to build up the volume of the outside of the hair. Starting on top of the ear, go straight up. It's going to round this out along the middle, come across and then straight down on top of the right ear. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and clean this up and erase our guidelines. And now we use this rough sketch as a guide to help us modify the shape and add some more details. Let's start with the top of the eyebrow. I'm just going to bring that in. I'm just going to darken up our contrast. Just adding more folds on the inside. And then working our way across the eyebrows. I'm just going to add a little bit of thickness along the top of the eyebrow and just lightly shade that in. And then from here, it's going to work our way across the eye, giving a slight angle going out.
down along the bottom. I'm just going to add in the nostrils. Now we're going to add some points across the top of the fur. It's working our way out from the center. Just adding some layers. Some more shape to the ears. Start by rounding out the top, coming down the side, and we're just going to add a fold along the inside of the ear. Now, working our way up along the side of the hairline, it's going to add these little points. And just work our way up across the top. And now we're just going to add some more points along the outside of the fur, starting along the bottom and just working our way out. Go back and clean up our drawing one final time before we add more detail and shading. And now we're going to go back and just darken up our contrast and refine our detail. So starting back at the eyebrow.
Now once we finish tracing out our contours, it's time to add our shadows. Now we imagine that the light's coming straight down across our character, so the shadows will sit along the bottom edge with the highlights along the top. So let's start with the top of the eyelid. It's going to darken this up just underneath the eyebrow. It's going to bring that shadow in towards the side of the nose. And it's going to fade that down. Bring a little of that shadow just underneath the eyelid. Let's pull that in. Just bring that shadow across the bottom of the nose. I'm just going to pull that shadow a little bit more on the left side. Lightly shade in the iris. And we'll add those shadows to the folds along the forehead. So starting in the middle, it's going to darken this up and then fade that out as we come up towards the top. Also adding a shadow along the side and just blending that out. Now with the hair, it's going to darken up the bottom on the side and then just blend that up. I'm just going to add a little bit of texture to the hair bangs. Just pulling these thick lines going up along the bottom and also adding a shadow along the bottom of the fur. I'm just going to go back and add some subtle details across the face. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, it's going to add a little bit more texture inside the fur and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Katakuri from One Piece. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.